Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. I'm going to show you features and benefits of having a OneDrive account from Microsoft. So first of all you want to create a OneDrive account. You can just type in OneDrive.com and we'll take you to this page and you can just click sign up for free. Select get a new email address so you can type in whatever email name you would like and it will be at outlook.com and just follow the prompts so i already have an account so i'm just going to sign in So once you're signed in, you're going to get folders, you're going to get a personal vault and a PDF. And this is the web interface and this is your OneDrive space. Now there are many features in having a OneDrive account. You can use all of Microsoft uh, Office apps for free just by creating a Microsoft account. So on the left side on this tile icon click on that and you can see some of the Microsoft 365 apps that you can use. There's Outlook, Excel, Word, PowerPoint, OneNote and Skype. Also you can access the same things by just clicking on New clicking on the drop down menu and you can just click on if it's a word document you would like to use or if it's an excel document you would like to create a powerpoint presentation you can just click on it so i'm just going to click on a word document this is a blank document and you can just use this and type whatever you would like so I'm just going to say test so when you create a new document it's going to say document 1 and you can rename that document here if you want by just typing in a name I'm just going to type a random name click enter and it's here and it's saved now if I close uh, this word document it's saved automatically in OneDrive so it's here now you can do that also if you want to create an Excel document you want to use that you want to create uh, PowerPoint presentation you can click PowerPoint presentation and you can create your your PowerPoint presentation and it works the same as if you have your Microsoft Office product in your computer so if I right click here I can create new slide type title and you can insert pictures shapes so it's fully functional now if I close this it's saved here so you don't have to say file save you can just close it and it will be automatically saved now if I want to rename this I can just right click and I can click rename just rename it click save and it is saved so this is how you can create a new word document or Excel or PowerPoint or OneNote forms 
Now when any part of the space in the OneDrive, I can just right click and I can create a new folder, a Word document, as you can see with the drop down menu. I can also, just by right clicking, I can upload my files and folders. And on the top menu, you can do that. If I click upload, I can upload files and folders. I'm gonna select files. So on my desktop, I'm going to select an Excel document and upload it. And it's here. I can also upload a folder just by clicking the drop down menu. And I'm going to select pictures. So the folder is uploaded with uh, everything in it. So this folder has pictures in it. So you can do the same thing just by right clicking and uploading a folder or file. Now on the right side here, there's a gear icon. And if I click on that gear icon, I can click on options. And it tells me how many space I have. Now this is a free account. So Microsoft gives you five gigabytes of space. And you can upgrade this to the paid version. So on the left side, if I click on plans and upgrades, it gives you a whole list where you can purchase, where you can get more space in your OneDrive account. So also on the left side, if I click on office file formats, you can set the default format you would like your Microsoft office document opening I will leave it as default click on tagging it says allow OneDrive to automatically tag your photos by team I will leave it at yes and there's also device backups and search now on the right side you can sort by name, by date, by size. Also you can change the, the view of your folder and files. You can select list view, compact list, tiles, photo. So I'm going to leave it as tiles. Now if I select the Excel document, the budget Excel document, this is the info icon, just click on it. So it gives you uh, where you can share this document. You can also at the bottom if you click on more details, it gives you uh, detail more it gives you more detail about the document when it was modified date created and the path where it is located now on manage access this is where you can share this document for someone so if i click on manage access and click on share now it says anyone with a link can edit this document. You can select specific people or anyone with a link. And on the other settings, you can say allow editing. Also, you can set an expiration date for the person you are sending this document to where they can edit it. You can also set a password for the document. 
And once you're done, you can click apply. You can also send this by email or by name. I'm just going to type in an email. You can send this by like a, a non-Outlook account. So I'll type in an email. So this is a Gmail account I'll be sending this to. You can add more emails wherever you need to send it. And also you can type a message. And at the bottom of it, so if I click on this icon, I can copy this link and email this link to whoever I want. And if I open it in another browser, I'm going to just enter it in the browser, click enter. And this is the document. I send this document with editing rights so whoever I send it with they can edit the document. They can edit this, they can make changes and they can save it. So as you can see uh, on this budget document it says has access and you can see I sent the link I copy that link and I sent it so it shows that I sent the link and if I click on manage access I can close and remove this link so once I do that whoever I sent the link to they don't have access anymore now on the top menu here, you can use these to delete, you can copy to, rename, embed, download, share, and open. So if I select this Word document, I can open it in Word Online or I can open it in Microsoft Word application in my computer also I must have in order to open it in Word I must have the Microsoft Office applications in my computer I can download it I can delete I can move to so I can move it in my documents I can move it into any folder I can also create a new folder and type a name so it is created here also I can just drag it once I drag it it is moved into the folder now from here I can also share it and also I can just right click and just click on new and I can create a new Word document or Excel and I have the same menu as the top here now on the right side there's an icon here and this is where you can log off or sign off your OneDrive web account you can sign off from here now those with Windows 10 usually the OneDrive app is already in Windows 10 but if you don't have the Windows OneDrive app you can download it from here on the left side as you can see it's here get the OneDrive app and you can download it if you don't have it in your Windows computer I already have it So I'm going to log in into my OneDrive app.
and this tells you where your OneDrive folder will be, where it is stored. You can also change the location. Click next. Click not now. Click next. You want to say later. So this is the OneDrive app and usually it's it's in your taskbar. It's a cloud icon. And you can see all your files and folders are here. So the files and folders that are in your OneDrive, it's the same here. So I want to click on open folder. Now if I right click any of these folders or documents and I want to keep a copy on my local computer, I just need to right click where the cloud icon is and select always keep on this device and as you can see it changes the icon if I don't want to keep a copy in my hard drive in my local computer I select free up space but I would like a copy of uh, whatever I have in OneDrive in my local computer also. So if I click on my OneDrive icon on my taskbar, I want to click on settings. Click on settings here. And there are some options here. If you want to check, you want to start OneDrive automatically when sign in to Windows you can leave this on checked you also have notifications dis display notifications when people share with me or edit my shared files so you have all these options so you can choose what you want or what you want to be checked or unchecked I'll click on account and it tells you the space, how many space you have, how many space is used. Also on this option choose folders. You can select or unselect folders that you would like to be synced in your OneDrive. So you can uncheck or check. click OK. Now if I click on the OneDrive app and I want I can share this document right from the OneDrive app. If I click on these three dots I can click on share and I can enter an email address and send it to this person I want to share this document with. and this is a gmail account so I'll click on send and it's done now this is the document if I click on it and I select the info button I can see that I shared this document with John Sam and it shows me the document so I'm going to open my OneDrive app and when you see this uh, icon of a person next to a file or a folder it means that it is shared 
So I'm going to share this budget Excel file to someone with another Outlook account. So I'm just going to right click, click share, and I'm going to type in the email address. This is an Outlook email address. And I'm just going to type a mess, simple message here. Click send, and it's sent. Now, as you can see, there's an icon here with a person that means it's shared. Now, I'm going to go over to the email account that I send this to, and it's an Outlook account. Now, I want to refresh this. So, on the left side, click on shared this is the Excel file that was shared so I want to make a change here so on cleaning services I'm just going to add a number here so I'm just gonna close it now if I go back to the other OneDrive account and I open up the Excel file that I shared and as you can see it's updated so when you send a file to another person with an Outlook account and you allow that person to edit that document such as an Excel file and whatever changes that person makes it is automatically shown in your account and this happens with Outlook so you must have an Outlook account and the other person must have an Outlook OneDrive account also in OneDrive there's a personal vault and this has an extra layer of security if I double click on that it's a place with an extra layer of security for your sensitive and important files and photos so if you want to store like important documents in this uh, personal vault you can do that because you can have an extra layer of security here it auto locks after 20 minutes of inactivity So it asks you to verify um, your account. So this is the personal vault and you have a menu here also where you can just click on new word document. You can choose whatever you want. You can also upload your important files and folders that are confidential. You can also rename. And when I click the OneDrive app, if I click on settings and under account this is personal vault you can you can select 20 minutes one hour two hours or four hours that your personal vault closes automatically if you have it open in your computer and you just walk away it will automatically lock so you can set it at whatever minutes or hours you want so I will leave it at 20 minutes so this is how it shows is open and if I right click I can lock it now if you want to open your personal vault you'll have to like get a code uh, if you enter your phone number Microsoft will send you a code on your phone and it also can send you a code in your email whatever email that you use and this is to verify your account now if I click on a word document and I can print this to my printer I can also share it 
if I click share I can share with people I can embed it I can also save it and if I click on save as I have all these options I can save it I can rename the file I can download a copy and also I can download as a PDF or as a ODT so you have all these options that you can choose and also in uh, this free version of Word you can also dictate uh, which is a great feature that you can use so I hope this uh, video was helpful to you and I thank you for watching I ask you to subscribe hit that like button